I'm really bothered at this like little glare because I don't know what causes it. I've cleaned my camera like a bunch of times. Okay, still not working. My back feels like somebody slapped me with a bunch of bricks. Right now, it's Sunday. Today is my self-care day. And what am I doing for self-care? <laughs> not much. Today, I also have to do my hair. Well, redo my hair because the front is looking atrocious. And we need to do this photo shoot. We need to do this photo shoot very soon. So, I need to do my hair. But I'll probably do that tonight before I go to bed. Yeah. As of right now, I'm just chilling. Like a villain. Well, like somebody that has back pain too. I need to do so much things right now. Right now, I'm actually editing my vlog that you guys already saw. <laughs> the DMX vlog. Well, it's not really a DMX vlog, but we're just going to call it that because that's more important right now than anything else I've talked about in that video. <laughs> Ow! I just scratched my head and I just scratched my scalp. Oh, wow! The trees are growing as leaves. Oh. It doesn't look naked anymore. But that's also going to be scary because now I'm going to start seeing more figures on my window. <laughs> People will be able to hide out more if they want to. But that's okay because I have a bat. <laughs> oh, where's my taser? I hope I didn't get that crushed in my car. Alright, I'm going to go take a shower because my back is killing me like a bunch of bricks. So I decided that I'm going to lock my hair. Oh my gosh. And I don't know why it took me this long because... What made me think about it was the fact that, well, I'll just show you guys some pictures. Well, I don't have to show you through my phone. I could just put it on the screen. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. Like these pictures that you see here, <laughs> I, that was like 2015. But I've been wanting to do this. And you know what? It makes sense because I'm someone, sadly, I didn't grow up having the pleasure of loving my own hair. You know, but that's normal in Caribbean type of households because they think that straight hair is not, I mean, straight hair is beautiful and uh, I knew from a young age that it was not, but I just went along with what my mom was doing for me, like, because I just didn't, I didn't know any better. There was no one around me to tell me, hey, your hair was actually beautiful. You don't have to worry about that. And it wasn't until I started living with my dad, I was like taking care of my own hair and like really like liking my own hair and we're even wearing it to school, like. I can't even remember. I forgot that there was a time I wore my own hair to school. And I really did in middle school because my dad embraced that in me. Like, what's wrong with you, girl? You, all you gotta do is go to the Dominican salon and get you a blowout when you need to. But even that, because, like, you see, I, I didn't really... I've never seen my curls until this age. <laughs> I've never seen my curls until I became an adult. So, yeah, that says a lot. But now I'm so in love with it. Like, even, like, this picture right here. <laughs> I would like I want to like um I wanted to do protective styles like this and then eventually my plan was to take it out and just wear my hair out for the winter for some, uh, the summertime and then go back to protecting protective styling protective styling um by winter but then how am I going to do that when I said I'm going to be in dreads all year I'm really going to be in dreads all year like I'm going to go through different colors I'm going to be in dreads all year so how would I be wearing my natural hair mm, I don't know and then I forget that when I wear my natural hair, it's a hassle because my hair is thick. So it's like a lot to deal with to comb. Well, there's not a lot to comb as in like it's hard. It's like my arms get tired. <laughs> I'm tired of my arms getting tired and then I don't really know much styles and I have to figure out what to do. Like it's just annoying. Like locking my hair is the best way to go. Literally. I can literally see myself as a mother locked. I'm not going to be having natural hair because it's just not me. <laughs> I mean that is not my natural hair. when I say natural I mean like my natural curls but this is like the most natural state I feel like is the best way for me to be and I've always wanted to do this and I don't know even my mom I just told my mom and she was like oh gosh no I was like well good luck thank god it's not your hair <laughs> like what I really don't care I'm so excited and I'm actually going to do this like ASAP because it feels right it is right and is the best way to go like I, I already feel like i'm locked up because of the style like I don't, I don't it feels so natural for me it doesn't feel like oh what am i about to do because i actually i kind of was already doing this because i was like um i like i was i did like two strand twist or whatever and then that's how i have my the the strands i have the strands and well 
I have my twist under my locks. Like you can even kind of see it. Well, you have, yeah, you could see it like right here. But I haven't taken it out or anything. And you can start like that, but I don't know if I want to start that way. So if I wanted to, that can continue because I already have the twist under. But we're going to see. We're going to see how this goes and we're going to do it because I'm excited. Nothing. No artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners because it, there's another one I was drinking and it said that, but I looked it up. There was no such thing. They had all that shit in there, even though I said it didn't. This one, I definitely looked it up and it was, it's good. It's healthy. Uh, excuse me. More. But yeah, so I, I need to research more on which style I want to do, which way I want to do it. If I want to do it with a two strand, if I want to do it with the gel or whatever, because, you know, it depends on how I want to maintain it. <laughs> Because that's the point. That's the main thing. I don't want to maintain. I don't want to do anything. So we're doing this. Oh, so excited. Oh my god. I'm so excited. It's like wow. Wow. How much time so it took me this long? Well, not this long, but it makes sense that it took me this moment to decide I wanted to do it. Because you know. It fits with me right now. I couldn't have been locked like a couple years ago. I feel like it's also Hello. 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 Like it's also like um it's also like I'm so sorry. I feel like I say like a lot. <laughs> but I feel as if it is also also a like a type of spiritual thing. I know it is. Well it is for me, I know, but as in like in general, I think lox is a really spiritual type of thing. So I'm not surprised that I feel like I wanna do this now. <laughs> that I wanna do it now because I feel I'm in my highest I could be I'm I've ever been I'm in my highest state of like body or form or whatever that I've ever been in life so it makes sense that I want to do this and I'm gonna do it your hair is, is a lot is about this is a lot about your um your life like the first time when I did the big chop I literally left a freaking left I wouldn't even call it that because I wasn't even in a relationship with him really but this dude that basically formed my whole entire like he was a he was the first real step to self love and like he was the one that really taught me really really taught me what that was like I don't even know not even that not even self love self worth that's what really I mean that is the same thing as self love but I didn't really learn what love for myself was still at the same time at the time but I was learning my worth at that moment but he taught me that and it's funny because they say that astrology again look in your eighth house um whatever you have in your eighth house is who like whatever the sign is ruling in your eighth house that person is the one that brought that either like ignited you or made you like one of and he made me want to all the time transformed me a lot a lot a lot a lot but um yeah after that i cut my hair off and i have not been back ever since and i never will be <laughs> even if i i'm not with this one i don't like it doesn't matter like where i'm at in life i'm just letting things be that's how I, that's the best way to put it whatever is for me will be for me whatever is not is not you know i'm not gonna rely i'm not gonna i'm not who i am before i'm not relying on people to come through for me i'm not relying on life to come through for me i'm gonna make life how it is but i'm gonna also go with the flow i'm just gonna let it be and just let the universe do what it want to do i'm gonna let god do what he wants to do because there's no point you can't make plans on life it doesn't work like that because you know he laughs at you <laughs> you know he, you make your little plans and he's like oh you think that's gonna happen oh that's so funny let's see what happens tomorrow <laughs> like literally i'm at a stage in my life where it's like so be it. Everything is every every single thing. And like I said in the last video that I had, my family was the first one to show me that. It was like, wow, I put you guys on a pedestal and all y'all niggas shitted on me. Yikes. <laughs> Crazy. You, know, you talk shit about somebody, but then you come to use them for their energy. You want their advice from them. You want this and that. I don't get it. I'm telling you, family is like the biggest snakes in this world. And it's really sad, but it's true. They'll be the ones that really hurt you the most. But they will also be your biggest lesson. So I'm really grateful for that. And... Yeah, so we're going to dread our hair soon. I don't know what, how, or why, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it really soon. And I'm still going to be having these dreads in too, like, over, since I could still wear protective styles with them, so. 
it's lit <laughs> another thing that i was thinking oh that's funny I, uh, it's only been like a couple of minutes and i think the lighting looks a little way different i was thinking like huh. there's a picture of my brother like heart eyed emoji and i was like mm, don't be doing that nigga. <laughs> like in a way to say you're discouraging me but i was thinking but well, damn i'll be able to, able to i won't be able to wear um straight hair anymore but then i'm then you know what i mean what i thought about why should i care about wearing straight hair from someone else's head that's the main reason why I don't care to wear wigs anymore because now like I, I take pe putting other people's hair on my head <laughs> I take that like so seriously now like I don't know like even this like it's kind of like uh, but it's not really hair I need to look into the like full, full locks but I don't really like I don't really like the whole wig thing anymore I just it just doesn't sit right with me anymore so I thought about it at the same second and I was like, wait, but I don't care about putting other, people, uh, other people's straight hair on my head. If I want straight hair, then by the time I get straight hair, then it'll be when I reverse my locks or comb them out. I don't know. Like, who cares? Or, like, I don't know. Like, I don't really care anymore. I don't care. It's just, this is the right thing to do. I'm not attached to my hair. That's the other thing, too. Like, another thing, I was really going to probably cut it again, but I was like, eh, I'm not sure about that. But, I'm not, when you're not attached to your hair... That's a blessing because there's some there's some women out here that is real, literally attached to their hair and they think that if they cut it like without it they're nothing and that's really sad because you're more than your hair your your hair doesn't make you beautiful at all in fact my hair being shorter I felt more beautiful. <laughs> So, I just prefer longer hair, but I felt more beautiful when I had short hair, which was crazy because I never thought I would say that when, well, when that time happened. Now I can understand why I would say that, but it's like, wow, would you look at that? You would never know. <laughs> so, that's my take on that. Um, I'm going to go paint because I got some things to do. Maybe I'll show you guys. Maybe not. I got a lot of things to do today. I got a lot of things to do today, actually. I got a lot of shit to do, so actually make it off of this. Bye. <laughs> Did you see it? 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 <laughs> My podcast is finally out. That's what I want to share with you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I'm not going to lie. I was going to delete it. I mean, I was going to... I was going to not do it a lot of times. And that's when I know I'm supposed to do something. Because when I don't want to do something is when I'm supposed to do it. So... At least I did it though. <laughs> and then I was going to delete it again because I'm like, why does it sound like... Towards the end, if you listen to it, I... Well, my brother said he didn't hear anything. Maybe he's just deaf, but... <laughs> we hear like little like taps and I don't know what the hell was making that noise because I was literally just sitting. So I'm not sure what the... <laughs> whatever. I think the problem is that the way how it was like positioned. So I'm going to have to get like a little... Like those microphone stands because I don't have... The one that I have is too short. Thank you for joining my journey if you listen because you're the bomb. <coughs> I almost choked in my spit. <laughs> anyway, so, um, what the f do you want my hair look like that? Because I actually took it out. I'm in the process of dreading my hair. Oh, I already mentioned that. I feel like I, I forgot that I did. <laughs> but I'm going to dread my hair, so. So what we're having for dinner today is some, well, hopefully we can have it for today because my brother turned the stove off like a dumbass because he was heating something in there. Didn't know that I have my sweet potato in there. So he turned it off and now I have to wait for it to turn back on again. I don't like this light. Yeah, he didn't know that I was in a sweet potato, so he turned off the stove. So not to wait to eat that. But we do have some asparagus and some sauteed some sauteed asparagus and mushrooms and onions and garlic and whatever whatever. Wait till I come up here, I eat some. By the time I'm ready to eat, I won't eat because I'm I'm full. You know what's funny? The person that I last spoke about in my um the family thing, she's who introduced me to asparagus. So thanks, D. <laughs> but she had baked them. Next time I'm gonna try. Ooh, that that mushroom tastes really good. See, I keep eating like mm, I can't help. I'm so good. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I'm, I'm never gonna eat tonight. Well, <laughs> not like I am, but I'm not gonna eat a full dinner. Anywho. As I stated, if you haven't listened to my podcast yet, just go and check it out. 
my my robe was literally open. I'm pretty sure it was my broken ass blinds. Anyone across from me can see. Oh, but no one's windows open. Well, I can't see. I can't tell. Don't care. <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm just, I just, since I've been vegan, I just been eating like a hog. Like, everything. Everything's so good. Good. It tastes so great with some, um, there's some beans and corn and mushroom with taco seasoning on it from Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. That's what I made the other day just to go with these chips. <laughs> but I made rice with it. So yesterday I had leftovers and I was just eating the chips with the rice and the beans and the corn and the mushroom. <laughs> Greatest thing ever. I love being vegan. I hope I'm not one of those people in the future that has to turn back to meat for whatever reason. I doubt it. I doubt it though. I doubt it. God knows my body. He can't do that. <laughs> But I'm just wondering, like, does your spouse have anything? Okay, the reason I'm thinking is my children. <laughs> I hope that when I'm pregnant, I'm the one of those, those, those moms that has to turn back to meat. Because apparently my baby needs it. Like, no, trash. No, they don't. If they claim, no, that's impossible. How can I tell? How is it possible that they're going to tell me that dead meat is, is really helpful for my child? My unborn child. <laughs> yeah, tried it. Not happening. Yeah, I doubt it. Let me not, let me not even say that because it's not going to come to fruition. But just in case, I hope not. But I just know myself. The same way how I know I didn't want... The same way how I didn't want to wean off. And I was thinking... I was still thinking to do it because I thought it was the right way. But I told myself, no, you don't want to. Like, I really didn't want to. And I ended up not having to wean off of weed. I think it's the same thing. So just in case I do have to probably go back to meat, I don't think I'm going to have to because... My body's gonna be like, no, you're fine. You don't need no dang meat. Your child don't need no meat either. But I was saying that I hope that I almost broke my heater. I hope that is. I want. Oh, I was just talking to my boyfriend and he texted me. I hope that I don't have nothing to do with his, you know, his his non diet. He still eats um seafood and meat. So I'm hoping like that's not like something last like, something that's picked up in the child. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. Not my problem. As long as I'm vegan for the rest of my life, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh gosh, excuse me. Gosh. Excuse moi. That was terrible. One thing about me. <laughs> I picked up so much of my boyfriend's habits and it's like really gross. <laughs> That's literally how he belches and like and not just like that. I mean like does that and then sometimes I'll be like Ugh, like it took out so much of my body. That's literally how he bro he belches. I, I think I literally said that in the video too. Not <laughs> I literally said that in the video before. His belches are like literally a belch. It's not like a cute little bird like <laughs> it's like <"Ugh." laughs> and then he moans right after like yeah. it's like it took up so much from his body. I, I can't even like curse him out. I just like yo babe like I just started laughing. Now I do the same exact thing. Wow. But anyway, oh my god, I can't wait to take my hair out. I love when I feel my new growth. I just want to read. I just want to redo it. <laughs> yeah, my hair looks like this because I'm trying to figure out if I should take all of it out, start dreading it, then add back my hair, or just do the front over, which I was originally going to do for the photo shoot. I'm locking my door. Oh. Yeah. And um. Then after like a couple two weeks or so, then I could take it out and then do the dreads and then do my hair or whatever. Cause I'm not sure if I'll wear wear my hair while while it's locked up in the <laughs> locked up. Yeah, locked up in like the growing stage. I mean I would, but I like to protect my hair as much as I can because I don't like to touch it. <laughs> I don't like to deal with it most of the time. So it's like uh mm. And, and not because not only that, it's like when I touch it, I feel like I damage it because I don't know. You know, I don't think your hands are supposed to be hipping your hair so much. So, and I have a tendency to do that when my hair is out. It's always in my hair. So I just like you know, let's put it up. Um, I'm just gonna wait for my potato. In fact, hey Siri. Hey Siri, you listen when you want to. Set my alarm for 11 p.m. I turned on your 11 p.m. alarm. 
I'm giving this 40 minutes <laughs> to finish baking because sweet potato that thing is huge I'll show you guys when you see it but it's organic so <laughs> that thing is like oh see how long it takes to bake and if it doesn't then I'll just go to sleep with the oven on <laughs> I'm just joking <laughs> this is a problem because if I start yawning and it's only 10 22 that's a problem because I'm gonna fall asleep so I need to sit up and probably watch some Ginny and Georgia it's too much it's too much too much stress in my left breast that's a Jamaican saying I don't literally mean that I have stress in my breast <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all like, I know I know like this girl is so crazy that's okay but yeah <laughs> I feel like I was gonna rap when I did that Mm, yeah, this you see I get delirious when I'm more tired Well, I get more delirious when I'm tired because you know, I'm already delirious. I was actually going to have um I was going to have a my, Have myself a big-ass pot of cornmeal like I stated But um, I couldn't because I only had vanilla extract. I mean vanilla flavoring Which I know I've heard this before but I don't I don't know why I didn't remember it because I wouldn't remember something like this. Like, it's gross. That vanilla flavoring, not extract, flavoring, is from beaver's anal glands. <laughs> so, I've been eating um, beaver bati in my porridge. It's <laughs> <laughs> not okay. It's not okay. I'm so bothered by that. I'm bothered because I did recently have... Did I make oatmeal since I've been vegan? Yes, I did. And I have used it for vanilla flavoring. And the worst thing is that it's a Jamaican brand. Like, come on, you're supposed to be vegetarian most of the time. <laughs> what is this? Like, where's the extract? Let's look that up right now so I can know which ones will get at Trader Joe's tomorrow. Because we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> we're not doing this. Like, I could not make my porridge today. And I found out from some girl that, um, that I don't ever watch Power, but my brother, like, met the, the, um... <laughs> The girl, the one that died, I don't know her name. I don't, I don't watch these shows, but he met her, whatever. And then that's all I knew about her. And then I went on her page. And then, I, well, on my, when I had my old page. But now recently, today, I found her again. I don't really know her like that. <laughs> I, don't know her, I don't know her name. Um, She's actually, I don't know if she's vegan. But she, the first thing I saw was like her making vegan things. And she made a vegan cake. And I was watching it. And then she was like, oh, vanilla extract, not flavoring. Because I'm not because I'm such and such and such, which is what I just told you. And she said I'm not gonna tell you what it what's in it or how it's made. So I took it upon myself obviously to go up online, look it up, and I was like, I think Imraz told me this before, and I don't know why I dismissed it out of my head. Because now I just want to vomit. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how did I push it out of my head. You know what? When I use the extract, it tasted more richer. In my porridges, I noticed a difference when I would get the extract versus flavoring. The regular Jamaican bottle I would get. Wow. Amazing. So we're not going to eat that shit anymore. Literally. Yeah, you literally see beaver. Gross. This is the one that I may use all the time. This may use all the time. And I flavor in that. Flavor in. Not extract. No, that's awesome, awesome. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's actually... Why would it be illegal? Oh, people trying to drink it? What the hell? Wow, okay. I'm not gonna lie. It does smell good to not, to drink, but I wouldn't... I'm not that dumb. As in, I wasn't that dumb when I was a child. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I would've done... Some kids would've done some shit like that, or I would've done some shit like that. <laughs> Come on, man. I need to eat dinner. <laughs> this can't be happening. I need my potato to finish. <laughs> I need my potato to finish. <laughs> Of my life, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go watch some Ginny and Georgia because this is not happening right now. I can't do this. Bye.